In this video, we'll take some time to talk about how the results file for a mass property analysis is broken down. And we'll use this uh, transport aircraft with some internal tanks and even a few blank components with point masses listed here. So in this case, we've got avionics mass and an APU mass back here that have point mass turned on and they have some fixed value. And so what we're going to do is compute the mass properties here. Notice that it ran the slice, gave us our totals, etc. And so let's come back and take a look at what that result file has in it. So I'm going to bring up this text file. And notice that, again, it's giving us this warning that our reflected components, our horizontal tail and our wing, were merged together. That's totally fine. It tells you some of the information about the triangles that were computed, the number of meshes, the number of components, and here are those totals that you see from the results window here. And now the breakdown here is by component level. And there's an important distinction between what you're going to see in this uh, table here compared to the total. And that's that the moments of inertia are about the component's individual center of mass rather than that of the total. So if you're looking for a component level breakdown on the moment of inertia about itself, then this is where you're going to find that information. So for example, we've got the transport fuse with its own mass here, the X, Y, and Z center of mass is included, and then it's got its own moments of inertia. The wing similarly has its own breakdown. These fuel tanks on either side have their components, but notice that the avionics and APU mass, which are blanks, do in fact have this fixed value of 50 to 150 pounds, whatever mass unit we care about. And we've got uh, our X, Y, and Z center of gravity for these. But notice that because it's a point mass, it has no moment of inertia about its own CG. It's just a point mass, and that's fine. But if you go in and do the, you can check and do the calculation on your own that the placement of the mass with the displacement of its center of mass will contribute to the moments of inertia of the total. And so that is the type of information that's included in the mass property results file. And that should give you an idea of what's going on in this text file, as opposed to just the totals that are being reported out in, uh, in the GUI.